right, so the AHL season has finally come to a close. We still have um, for the Utica Comets. Still have no update on playoffs yet. Last I know, it was to be determined, but I think a date should be around soon enough. And I can't wait. With that and uh, with the season ending, you'll see we've already seen the call ups from the ECHL um, affiliate of Adirondack with guys like Grosso, Theo Chartis. So glad the Greek guide's back, as we joke, as jokingly call him. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Grum, it's something like Roly. I, I guarantee you I butchered it, and I got it wrong anyways. I have to be looking at it to kind of get it. It was his first, he got a, his first score in his first game. or Yeah, his first score in his first game up in the AHL, plus another one or two I guarantee I'm forgetting that are also guys that it's they've been here before. I think, I think Irvine was already up, but not only that, you saw the dropping down of Greer and somebody, Greer and Nico. Nico got a huge ovation coming back into the odd for the final game against Rochester. Um... It was crazy being in that atmosphere with Dawsey Beck. It was good. When they came out for warm-ups, it was an atmosphere. People were happy he was there, but they really showed it when he got called for being back in for starters. And, man, that place went electric. And you wouldn't have think the kid, the kids had a weird journey all season, but it's good that he's shown that he's got a bright future out of him, and who knows how much longer he'll be down, sadly. We, we've all become accustomed to it, how good him and Schmidt are, but not only that, you'll see, you're probably going to see Nikita and um, Ahotuk, Nolan Foot. they'll both probably come back, you're probably also going to see Ball come back down, you'll probably see Zach come back down, it's very likely they come back by the start of playoffs, because then it's just like, alright, the team's bolstered, it's ready, and we'll see how it runs. Because it'll be interesting. Because this team's done so much this season. With guys constantly going up and down. And now it's going to be... Now now you're going to have kind of everything. You're going to have all your big time guys... Or all your big numbers guys. Your Zetterlins, Greers, Balls. Uh, not Balls. <sighs> as soon as I, I put Greer and Ball in the same category, I don't know why. Just because we have the t-shirts for them. But... Like I said, Zets, your Greers, your Holtzes, your Dawes. Since a lot of those guys are back and are rolling, DeLeo, since a lot of those guys are up and rolling and back on the same roster together, it's going to be, this is going to be a tough team because Dawes has been an anchor in net up in New Jersey for the most part, and he'll come back and he'll do the same thing he was doing here. And it didn't take very long for him to adjust against Rochester. And... Now you're going to have a full rotation, plus the new acquisitions from college like Van Wy from Michigan. Sadly, he's from Michigan. I know. Couldn't have gotten somebody from anywhere else. But at least it's not somebody from USC or um, where was the other place? Oh, yeah, Ohio State. That one's bad, too. Um, but, yeah, it, it's been it's been a ride. And it's going to be exciting to see the playoffs because that I guarantee you that place will be basically sold out for most of the games, depending on who we get. If we get Sir, or not Syracuse, or I think it was Rochester was our big no, we don't want to play at all during the playoffs. I mean, Syracuse is too, but we probably won't see them. And it's just like, all right, all right. I don't want to play Belleville either. I don't. I don't want to play them at all, because they've been our kryptonite at times. I just want to play somebody we've we're used to playing that we can just knock out of the park. I. It's all. I, that's all we need. But it'll be interesting not to see how it slots with the guys that came up. Are probably gonna. You're probably not gonna see much of of um, from the ECHL. You probably won't see much of Irvine Petty McGrath as much as I hate to say it is usually a scratch. 
although he did have some injury problems, I think you'll still see him scratched because I think he, he'll be a fringe scratch guy going through the playoffs, depending on who you play. Um, Van Wy, depending on where, if they fit him in the fourth line or whatever, or how they fit him in, he could not play. I don't know. I don't know how they see him yet. You'll still see your line combinations of guys like Holtz and DeLeo. You'll still see stuff like that. That'll be normal. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the defense pairs up having everybody. But not seeing as, as how they've done it already, you'll probably see Grolo will be scratched, and they'll kind of go from there. And whoever's the odd man out's the odd man out. And... It sucks because Ball was rolling with Grolo for a while, and that kind of became the guy he ran with. But now you're going to see him with probably, who was it he was with? I think it was a Hotuk he was with. Uh, that's not a bad line right there for defense. And I think that'll be a thing where they just shift constantly depending on who they're playing, of who plays where and what, just kind of how it fits against who they're playing. Forwards will be a lot of the same thing, except some will be more concrete. Some guys will be more concrete than others on lines. Like, you'll probably see Holtz and DeLeo on the same line, depending on how both of them um, fit in. You might see a Foot and Greer line, or a Foot and Graham Clark line. I don't know. But, I mean, I think Schmelz might see some time with Holtz. But, again, that, I don't, I have no idea. That, that's a come playoffs thing. But, with that, I think Mittens is down. I think he is going down at least or something. That or he's just on the roster or whatever. He's not. You're you're not going to see him unless somebody goes down. Hopefully nobody goes down for goalie. But that this 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 playoffs is going to be very interesting because there's so many combinations they can use of so many different guys. And it all depends on who they're playing. And it can get very interesting. Because if we get another team that likes to play chippy and likes to get rough, and the refs get really bad, and that cause, that cause that's what I've noticed recently with Utica. When the refs get bad, Utica gets kind of tough and aggressive. And I like it. That's how it was last night. Or not last night. That's how it was last game against Rochester. That's how it was against Syracuse a couple games before. It was one of those things where the refs were bad and Utica got chippy. Now, Syracuse, it's usually chippy. Usually, Syracuse is the first one to step up and start getting chippy, and Utica will respond, at least from what I see. But Rochester, it was more we stepped in first and started kind of getting aggressive, and then it kind of went from there. But that one, it, it's like I said, chippiness from us usually is following bad refing. And, oh, it was... It was a night. Naughty's been getting crazy. He was on the ice skating before the game. Um, you know, it's Naughty's hit like a whole nother level, and it's ha- hilarious. Ball's army is growing, just like it always has been. The army has been enlisting, apparently, as the joke goes, because it's there. And when ball comes back, it's gonna we're, it's gonna be great. Yeah, playoffs. Utica's gonna. If Utica is at all like it was um, against Rochester, that place is going to be off the wall. I mean, I can't really compare it to UC because that's kind of a different atmosphere. But I'm going to say it's going to be kind of like UC to where everybody's loud and proud and just there and really showing up. But there's going to be less of um, stuff going on because... You know, we're not going to sell out 101 through 103 screw, uh, screw season ticket holders and give it all to um, give it all to the opposing fans because UC did that, and it was a horrible idea. It, it screwed over season ticket holders. I still disagree with it to this day. I'm still annoyed about it, and I think it was ridiculous, but whatever. What do I know? Anyways, since I ha- I always rant about that. Anytime I bring UC up like the, uh, that atmosphere, I rant about that. But it'll it'll be fun. Playoffs will be fun. If you're someone who's going to be there watching the games, or at least one play- even one playoff game, be ready for a nice atmosphere because I think that place will go off when playoffs are there. 
because there was a lot of like the back and forth. Their chance started going a lot more than normal in the odd against Rochester. There was a lot more energy to it. When somebody scored, the crowd really got up compared to most games they won't really get up. I mean, yeah, they'll be happy they scored and everything, but that game, we were trying to blow the roof off with how loud it got, it felt like. So I think that's going to be the um, how it goes from now on. And that that's playoffs. Playoffs is a different atmosphere. It's a different beast. Anything can happen. This Utica team can come out flat-footed and get hit early, or they can come out the gates flying and knock some teeth out and really take some bite out of whoever they're playing. But you never know. And that's, that's playoffs. But we'll see. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the guys come back. I'm excited for Ball to come back into town. I'm excited for Zetterlin to come back into town. I just want to see everyone back here, back and going. I'm happy Dawsey's back. I'm happy Greer's back. It, it's an it's an exciting time to be a Utica Comets fan. It definitely is. And if you're a Utica Comets fan, whether you're going to the games, whether you're watching them, listening to them, whatever, have fun. <laughs> have fun listening to those games. I know it's gonna be it's gonna be electric when uh, when playoffs come. So hopefully Roger, uh, Rogers, hopefully Utica does good to all AHL fans and everybody watching. Good luck. <clears throat> good luck to your team. May the best man win. Hopefully it's Utica. And we'll see. U- Utica, they say it's our year. Let's let's see if we can actually be our year.